fractions were invented by Dominic E. No back in the 80s as a way to divide pizzas up evenly and they've been a way to resolve family mealtime disputes ever since. So what is a fraction? A fraction is when you want to show that something isn't quite whole. They all look a little bit like this. A top number and a bottom number with a line separating the two. Both of these numbers refer to slightly different things. The number on the bottom shows how many parts make up that whole number. For example, if you divided your pizza into eight equal parts, then your fraction would have an eight on the bottom. The top number shows how many of those parts you have. So if you took one slice of the pizza, then your fraction would be written as one over eight. If you took another slice, then you would now have two eighths because you now have two of the eight slices that make up that whole pizza. And you can keep going like this right up until you have all eight pieces or one whole pizza and maybe heartburn. If you were to divide up your pizza into a different number of slices, then you could produce a different set of fractions. For example, slice it into two and take one piece and you now have half the pizza. Slice it into three and take one piece and you now have a third of a pizza. Slice it into four and take one piece and you now have a quarter of a pizza. You might have noticed that the more slices you divide your pizza into, the smaller the slices become. So this fraction is smaller than this fraction. Another common fraction is when you're told that something is half price. Working this out isn't too tough because you can just divide it by two to give you your answer. But what about if you wanted something that had two thirds off? And why wouldn't you? To work out this price, just look at the fraction. You know that there are three equal parts and you have two of them. So you can work it out by dividing the number by three then times it by two to give your answer. You divide that bottom number and then times it by the top number. Have a go with this. Well done if you got that. To celebrate, here's a picture of the cutest thing that you will see today. And so to recap, fractions are used to show when something isn't whole. The bottom number shows us how many parts make up that whole number, and the top number shows us how many of those parts you have. To work out the value of a fraction, like when there's a money off deal, divide the whole number by the bottom number of the fraction, and then times the answer by the top number of the fraction.